Legend Total War here, and today we've got a saving your disaster battle playing as Clan Rictus going up against Bretonia. Bounce of power is not great, and this battle is honestly going to be a goddamn nightmare to fight. Not necessarily impossible, but just going to be a massive headache. Stress alert. Alright, so, we've got a pretty good army here, frontline essentially being Hill Pit Abominations. Uh, we've got Poison Wind Mortars, Jezails, Rattling Guns, Plague Claw Catapults, that's all pretty good. Uh, I think that's a Plague uh, Gracier and a and a um, Warlock Engineer. More or less the same thing over here, except they've got essentially two Plague Wizards, which is good. Uh, some more Hell Pit Abomination. It's essentially the same army. It's good stuff, and some reinforcements here. Now, they're actually a problem. We need to actually withdraw them from the battlefield, because when they come in at the same time as these, they'll deny us these six units, and that just can't have that. Get them off the battlefield. Anyway. The real headache's gonna be this battle here, we got up against three Bretonian armies. We're up against the trifecta of legendary lords. Alberic, Luan Leonco, and the Fey Enchantress. The uh, Luan Leonco, of course, being by far the most dangerous to deal with. As the Skaven, it's actually really difficult to get rid of him, especially in the late game, because you can't beat him in melee, and he basically doesn't take damage from missile units, and he regenerates. So focus firing on him is like, you can either focus fire on him, like, he'll take the same amount of damage as the rest of his army combined in order to kill. So he's a real pain in the ass. And since he's on a flying mount, uh, he could just bypass, you know, any defenses we put up, such as, um, you know, spawned clan rats or anything like that. And he'll just fly right over it and start attacking our, um, our missile units. So that's going to be a problem. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. Maybe it's best we just don't deal with it and just deal with what we can. Sometimes in these sort of battles, if, if, you, if you're if you up against something that you literally have nothing that's going to be good against it, don't even focus on it. Focus on what you can do, not on what you can't. Alright, we're going to need Menace Belows. Having lack of leadership is definitely going to hurt, but he was already at the red. Can't do anything about that. And I will control a large army on this because I feel like that's going to be advantageous in some ways. It's going to make fighting this a, a goddamn nightmare. It's going to be stress alert because there's going to be so much shit happening all at once. You're going to get information overload. But because of it being an artillery missile focused army, it's not going to be that difficult to micromanage. And if we only use one army, let's face it, um, Luan Leonco and Albrick will be coming in at the same time, and we're just, we're gonna get killed just by those two alone, if we don't control a large army. Anyway, let's do this, and we'll just do the best we can. Now, I don't think, um, winning or losing's the main concern here, um... I think it's going to be how wrecked is our army going to be after it. Because, like, you can win a battle and it can be not worth fighting. Because if you win and, say, half your army dies, then was it was it really a good... That's, the, like, the definition of a Pyrrhic victory. Um, ideally, they, I like to fight these battles and, you know, have the army still be alive afterwards. But I just don't know. I can't promise that's going to happen because of those heroes. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to set them up over here because our reinforcements are going to come this way. I'll, I'll reorganize it a little bit better in a bit. 21 wins of magic is pretty good. And we're not going to need that. They're going to get set up. While they're doing that, let's just stand back a bit here so we get more time. It really doesn't matter if our units withdraw. Because if they're at the point of breaking, um, they're probably going to be dead anyway. Fighting in the middle of a map with, an, with this kind of army is mm, not going to work. So yeah, these ones here need to withdraw, please. Start bringing them in. You might think as well, why not like, try and attack these guys that are reinforcing? Mm -mm. We gotta get set up. Most important thing here is to get set up. And this one here has Howling Warp Gale. I might put him up front just to begin with. We'll see how we go with that. Okay. Can pause the, uh, the battle as well because we're not playing on legendary difficulty. I'm not really used to pausing it, 
But it is an option available to us. All units should be on guard mode. See how that gets set up. Alright, we're gonna need these guys. Some of them are gonna have to be in the flank, some of them around the front. But the Hellbit Abominations, their job is just protect the missile units. Even if it means them getting killed. They are far less valuable to us than the missile troops. Another option, I guess, is like only using Hellbit Abominations. Because they're anti-large, but uh, I don't know. If you put them in a blob, they do okay. I've never tried a hell pit abomination spam army. Who knows? It could actually be really good. I've never tried it. Now is not really the time for experimentation. I had, I have worked with this, and I know it works. Bases. Okay, they're coming at us. Let's uh, pop this down here first. Right, Alberic's coming in. Uh, where's Hell in Wolfgale, dude? Not yet. Wait until he gets in range of the rattling guns. There. Albrecht go being gone early is definitely good. Is that Lewin? Ugh. I think he's going for the general. It's not really a good idea to be targeting him. Slow them down, please. Wow, he's already taken a lot of damage. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe do tank him. Get him out of there. Uh, he's pretty much out of magic. Just get him, get him back. Need to get all three of these back behind the line here. I don't want any of them dying. Good, he got out. Wow, Luan's almost dead. Uh, I don't have enough magic for Howling Warp Gale. Should be fighting the Fae Enchantress. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we get him? No, not yet. Right, maybe don't try and shoot him, because he's too close. Oh shit, get him out, get him out, get him out. Fain Chantress is going down, generals. Right, finish it off, finish it off. Oh, God damn 
me such a fucking tank. Guys over here not doing anything. Those units went back to try to. Did we take out Lewin yet? No. <laughs> he just doesn't want to go down. Such a dickhead. Got rid of the other ones. No heroes have died yet, which is great. Shit, that hurts. Uh, do I have any reserves nearby that can help out with this? Yeah, you got a health potion there. There's Lewin. Uh, can we get someone? Please, kill him! What's this over? What the fuck are you... Oh, you just, just leave. Is he there the entire time? Come on, die, you fuck! Oh, no, don't go over there. They're still bringing in reinforcements. Oh god, he just isn't going down. Oh, this one's about to die. Oh my god, he just won't die. Alright, we got him. We actually got him. Good shit. And here come Royal. Oh, just pick us a snipe. Okay. Okay. Don't kill my general. No magic at the moment. Really starting to run on fumes here. Most of the reinforcements seem to be coming from over here. Need magic, please.
Bloody hell. <laughs> Fuck off, you goddamn Bretonian pricks. They're going for the general again. No heroes have died yet. They're the ones that matter. Oh, what the hell are you doing there? Cast it. Alright, at this point here, we really need to keep our, um... Our head pet abom abominations together. Oh, I think we won. Oh, God, that was such a ball buster. Definitely a Pyrrhic victory. God, bloody damn it. All three of their generals got wounded though, so... And none of our heroes died. Though That was the priority because, you know, obviously they get experience and... If they die, they have to start leveling them again. And, you know, you can just recruit more Hell Pit Abominations. It sucks, don't get me wrong, but that was a, that was a ball buster. Especially Lu and Leonko. I mean, did you see how... How much effort we had to go into to actually getting rid of him at the end there. Oh boy. Yeah. So it looks like three hell pit abominations died. One of the um, plague mortars died. I don't know about the other army. But their army's been obliterated. So you should be able to, even with the damage that's been done, should be able to move over to them and finish them off. Yeah, rattling gun gone as well. And in the second army, yeah, a lot of lot of hell pivot abominations. So they didn't really get that many kills, but yeah, they did do a good job. And their armies have just been yeah annihilated. I didn't even. F I don't think I even see them come in. The thing is, when their their second army started coming through, well, I guess it was the third army, we were just exhausted by that point because of Lu and Leonko. Even though we only got 23 kills, he was aiming for our heroes, and that's, that was what really did us so much damage. Alright. Well, you got a shitload of territory, so... And you do seem to be more or less finishing them off. I mean, you will see those guys again at some point, but... Let's just see what happens here. Uh, look, my job... Uh, can she, can she, can, is there a chance of winning that? You didn't level this dude up. Um, I'm just seeing if it's possible, because, like, we outnumber them, but we don't have Warp Bomb. And you put him on Force March. He's a Vermintide. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't think we could win that, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm just gonna just, whatever. I don't, I don't think you can win that. And you got Separatists as well. Oh, and your food got some major problems here. Uh, money though is good. So, that should be fine to do that. Right, let's have a look at what happened. It was over here. This is where we fought. Alright, so that's the remnants of those those forces, but you've also got more coming in over here. 
Wait, what a mess of a campaign. It's not going badly, but it's a it's a real mess. Oh my god, look at all this shit. <laughs> oh boy, it's to stop. Alright, yeah, looking at it all, um... You should be able to recruit some of those units from here soon. Yeah, alright, so everything looks alright. I might just uh, leap, hand this back to you. So yeah, sorry about that, but there was no way you were going to win that either. That was, that was, that was pooped. But anyway, that situation there is, is sorted. That was a really rough battle. I don't know if I really could have done any better because that was just a micromanagement hell. But I hope you guys, at the very least, found it enjoyable. Anyway, that's the end of this one, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.